things I've found most beginners have some really big trouble with, especially when it comes to retouching, is actually unifying the skin tone. Now, whether this comes down to spot color correction or overall skin tone color correction or a combination of both, I do find that it's something that's quite easily glazed over with most retouching tutorials. And even for myself in the past, I've not really filmed a lot of videos where I've covered this in depth. So in today's video, I'm going to be jumping into Photoshop and showing you how you can unify the skin tone overall and just a couple of different things you can do to really get a lot more cohesion across the skin tone. And we're going to dive straight into the tutorial today, so let's get into it. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop, we're going to get straight into the tutorial. I've got a couple of adjustment layers that I've just made using curves, levels and selective color, just some really basic adjustments to this image, just to kind of brighten it up, give it a little bit more contrast. So just to show you what I've done, this is the before and then this is the after. Now it's just kind of given it a little bit more of a mood, I guess, to the image. And like I said, brightened up the skin a little bit. However, you can see there's still a lot of variation with the skin tone here. It goes from a little bit more of a reddish effect on the face and lower on the arms to kind of the shoulders where it's quite pale and a little bit more of a yellow base rather than the pinkish base that's on the face and the arms. So we want to really kind of unify this a little bit more. You're still going to have this bit of texture here because this is where the model's freckles are as well. And this is where they start on her arm. But we do want to kind of merge that redness a little bit more and just kind of unify the skin tone a little bit because there was no real reflector used on the day or anything so there was a little bit of color cast from the pavement and the red brick walls around her nearby so you do kind of have that little bit more patchiness in the skin tone so what we're going to first do is we're going to create a new gradient map layer so just going to the adjustment layers panel here and clicking on gradient map for now we're actually going to hold down control and I making sure that this box around the mask has been selected holding down control I or command I for a Mac and we're just going to invert that for the time being. Now if we go ahead and click on this section here which will take us to the gradient map properties we're going to start picking some skin tone colors that we want to kind of correct this image with. So essentially you're going to have your darker skin tone colors down here and the lighter skin tone colors up here and then the mid tones is going to be around the middle. So first off I'm just going to select this particular color picker. We're going to click on this box and then if you move your cursor around the skin tone, you'll see that it's the little eyedropper tool. And we're going to pick a color that is kind of going to work as a good shadow color for the skin tone. And we're going to maybe choose something around about there. So that's going to be our kind of darker shadowed color for the skin tone. Now pressing OK. We're then going to add another picker. So if we just click here, You'll see that another one comes up. We're going to move that to the middle and let's click on this box again. And this time we're going to click on the mid-tone color. So a good mid-tone color is going to be probably somewhere around about here or maybe even around about there. But let's just kind of click maybe, maybe around about here and press OK. Then for the highlight color, we're going to click on this picker and this box. And then we're going to... Click on maybe around this kind of part of the skin tone. So it's going to be a lot lighter. So you see here, we've got our three colors for the skin tone. Now we can change these at any time, but this is going to give us a really good starting point for unifying the skin tone. So let's press OK. And this time we're going to set the blending mode of the gradient map to color because we want those colors to sort of show through uh, and adjust the colors only in the image. Now clicking on this box here, I'm going to click on control I again, and that's going to reset the gradient map so it's no longer inverted. And I usually just move this down to about 50% just to kind of see how the skin tone's kind of looking. So it's really just going to merge a lot of those colors like I was saying before. So just checking that the skin tone color looks okay, which it does. I'm going to leave that at 100% now. And again, we're going to hold down control I or command I for a Mac. Then we're going to get our paintbrush tool and making sure that white is selected as the foreground color because we're going to paint onto a black mask. I'm going to make sure my flow is just enough to kind of paint through pretty well onto the image. And then I'm gonna start painting just onto the skin tone here. So you can really easily clean this up because we are painting onto a mask which is good. Just be careful not to kind of get any of the clothing or hair 
if you can avoid it, but you can always go back and adjust this later. So just painting onto the face as well. And you can go around the makeup if you need to. Okay, so just clicking that on and off. So on, off, you can see that there's a lot more unification there with the skin tone overall. However, we are going to tweak this a little bit. So just zooming in as well, so you can kind of see the difference here before, after. Okay, so now is where we kind of tweak this a little bit more. So we can click on this box here and then go back into the gradient map properties. And what we can actually do is move these sliders around. So this is essentially just going to sort of display how much of the highlight color you want in the image or how much of the mid-tone color you want. So you can kind of move these across and it's going to really determine how much is present. So say if we wanted a little bit more highlight color, we could move that across a bit more. If we didn't want as much, because there's really not as much highlight color in the skin tone here, there's not a lot of it that is highlighted, we can just move this across as well. And this just blends it a little bit more. So if you move that that way, you can see it just kind of blends the skin tone a little bit. You can move that back. And again, you can just kind of like blend this. So it kind of looks as natural as possible. So pressing OK. Now at this stage, you can choose any of the coloring in the skin tone if you need to. Again, I'll just quickly click on this box and show you. But if you wanted to, for example, change the mid-tone color and you wanted it to be a little bit more desaturated, or a little bit more saturated. So maybe we'll just tweak this a little bit. We don't want it too desaturated at all. So just leave it at that. So pressing OK and then pressing OK again. We'll just zoom out. And now we can easily adjust the opacity of this by just moving this slider down a little bit. So if we want it to just kind of show through a little bit of the redness, still a little bit of the pinkness in the cheeks, we can do that. And clicking this layer on and off, you can see how much of a difference that actually has made across the whole skin tone. You can really see this up close too. So before, after, before, after, and then a little bit closer, before, after. You'll be able to see it here a lot too. So before, after, before, after. And you can see it's just completely unified that skin tone a lot more. Let's do a full before and after here. So before, after, before, after. So again, you can just see that it makes a really big difference. And then you can go in with dodge and burn and kind of fix up any areas that you want to smooth over. But for this image, I'm going to be leaving it as that because I think that that looks pretty good from where we were before to where we are now. I might just add a little bit more brightness in the curves. And again, you can go before and then after before really look at the shoulder here and see how much that has changed as well because there's quite a lot of colors going on in the before here so if you look there's like a very warm saturated color here there's coolness here in the shoulder blade and then a lot of redness here so if we go now to the after you can see that that's all been blended a lot more now again as i mentioned you can go back to the gradient map layer at any point and you can change any of the colors if you feel like they're too saturated you can always change these around a little bit so i'm going to maybe make that just a bit cooler to fit in with the skin tone but hopefully you've liked this tutorial today and hopefully you've learned something new thank you so much for watching this video today and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel already make sure that you do because i'll be posting a lot more tutorials like this one in future let me know down in the comment section below how you you like to unify the skin tone in Photoshop or Lightroom or even capture one or another editing program because I'm always interested to hear your thoughts. Also let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next on my channel because I'm planning on doing a lot more tutorials in future so definitely feel free to put in some requests. But thank you so much again for watching this tutorial today and I'll see you in the next one.